So we've learned that using your words and ignoring the person is a great way to stop people from calling names. But suppose you see someone calling someone else names. What can you do then? You've got stripes. You've got stripes. Ooh. Hey. What should you do? That's something Billy had to learn. One night, Elliot, Adam, and Billy were having a sleepover at Elliot's house. So, what do you guys want to do now? We can tell ghost stories. I know some really good ones. I don't like ghost stories. Why? Are you scared? You can be such a baby sometimes. Head, stupid head. <laughs> How does it feel to be called names? Let's find out. One day in school, Kelsey was getting a toy out of her backpack to take to recess. When she reached inside, she pulled it out, but it had broken somehow. Kelsey got really upset. Oh no, it's broken. What made things worse is what Susan said to her. It's just a stupid toy. What are you, a baby? Are you going to cry? Later that day, Kelsey was walking into the classroom when she tripped, and all of her books dropped onto the floor. Kelsey felt em Andrew wasn't trying to be mean or hurtful calling his friend Tony Baloney, but Tony didn't like the name. But he didn't say anything. Tony was going to meet Andrew and his other friend Joey outside Joey's house. Hey, Tony. Hey, you guys ready to play football? Sure. Whatever you want to do, Tony Baloney. Tony Baloney? <laughs> yeah. That's his new name, Tony Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Tony was getting angrier. He really didn't like his new name. But what could he do? What can you do to make someone stop calling you a name you don't like? Well, you can use your words and tell the person how you feel. Let's see how that can work.